Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. What I want to do today is I want to check out something I don't think I've ever checked out on this channel before. It is a projector. And it's inside this box, so let's open it up and check it out. Slice. Badly sliced. Slice again. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, so here we have it. It is the Vankyo Leisure 410 video projector. Leisure 410. Let's take it out of the box and I'll put this one on the floor so Pancake can play with it. And there she is playing inside that. First of all, I'm glad it's a small projector. Second of all, it comes inside a bag. And there she goes. Looks like it wasn't big enough, she's bored of it. All right, so it comes in a fairly nice padded bag, which is good. And there's some buttons underneath there. So let's open it up and take out the projector. And that's how it's all tied down, nice. Velcro straps. So this thing right here is a tripod. Fairly lightweight tripod. And we've also got a remote control. Got a HDMI cable. Got a power cable. And one of these, which I'm sure I won't be using. And also this thing. I'm not too sure what that's for. Right, anyway, to the projector. Oh yeah, there's also a user manual inside here. And I don't think there's anything else. All right, so let's take a closer look at this. So I've already got a projector, but mine didn't come with one of these, which is actually kind of handy. Now it looks as though it comes with the usual stuff. Focus, menu navigation buttons, menu, power on, power off, exit, headphones, audio video, remote control, HDMI, keystone adjustment. And this right here is what is on the right hand side. USB, SD card. You can plug in your TV aerial right there. Looks as though it's for an aerial anyway. And on the left, we have that which I'm guessing is for airflow, as well as that on that side, and this on the back, as well as this, but I'm guessing this might be a speaker, but I'm not too sure. All right, so this thing is a kickstand, and it goes into here. Okay, so let's see if we can fit a tripod to the bottom of the projector. I'm gonna remove the kickstand, and I'm gonna be placing the tripod into there. Okay, so the tripod seems to be working fine. Seems fairly sturdy for this. Uh, doesn't seem to be moving around or anything. So the power is over on the left, but this goes over here. All right, so let's set it on. And there it is. All right, so first thing I need to do is focus it a little bit. Second thing I need to do is maybe turn off this lights on the camera. And maybe this light. And that was pancake. So I'll press OK. Was that even the OK button? I think it was. OK. OK, so what I have here is an SD card. And on this are three video files. There's an MOV file, there's an AVI file, and there's an MP4. So let's see which one works. All right, so I put that in and let's see what happens. Refocus the camera. All right, so let's see. That, that, that. Um, hmm, picture mode standard. Let's see which picture modes there are. Let's try and make this a little brighter. Picture mode, user, standard, soft, vivid. Hmm. Is that making zero difference? Right, let's go down to USB and OK. OK, so I decided to use the remote control instead. Batteries are not included. And it doesn't seem to be detecting any movies on the SD card, which is kind of weird. Looks like I'm going to have to plug in my laptop, which I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do. Contrast, let's maybe put that on to 70. Brightness, put that on to 70 as well. Doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. Sharpness, we'll put that on to 60. Color, we'll take color right down, see what happens. All right, nothing's happening. Okay, so that there is how loud my laptop is. 
And now I'll turn on the projector. I think it's probably about as loud as a PS4. During intense gameplay. Okay, so what I've done is I've placed the projector there, a little closer to the wall. And I'll turn this light off. And I'll turn this light off. And that there is my PC screen. All right, so a little closer to the screen. I think that this is actually working now. And I think it's probably best to just leave it on 50. Now, apparently this is supposed to be 5,000 lumens, but it really doesn't seem very bright. So the sound is now coming through the projector. There's not much sound coming through it because there's only birds on the screen, but it basically sounds like you'd expect. Now the projector itself is a very budget projector, but the cats seem to be fairly entertained by it. Okay, so this projector is fairly cheap. If you check on Amazon, you'll probably find it. And you'll probably find other projectors too. However, I'm not gonna be using this for anything maybe other than entertaining the cats with, because I've already got a projector which costs about 14 times the amount that this costs. And I barely use that. This comes with a fairly nice bag, which uh, is cool. And um, if you're after a cheap projector, check Amazon because there's a lot of competition out there and you'll find this if you want it. If you don't, never mind, no loss. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it really. Just wanted to check this out and show you it. Now I've done that, I'm gonna go. And she's gonna settle right there. Right, okay. Have a nice day.